Hello, friends and neighbors. Oh, welcome to another production of the program. Here we are on TV. Uh, once again, once a day, every day, turn on the machines and live forever. Here we go. I'm alive, man. All the way back around here to uh, Tuesday. Huh? Who would have thought I would have made it this far? Oh, I'm alive. Barely. How, how are you? Uh, barely alive. Barely alive. That's right. Hey, what, what else? Is there? We're we're all barely alive. Oh. Don't make me. Don't don't take it to think that I'm saying anything else. But who? You know how close we are to death. All the time. Very. Very. All it takes is one little stabby stab. You know? Yeah. Like one stab from death. Two stabs from death. One stab from death. Uh, it's Tuesday. What do you think about Tuesdays? Uh, it feels like Tuesday never feels like Tuesday. No, what does it feel like? Wednesday. <laughs> Tuesday feels like Wednesday? Maybe. If, if Tuesday always feels like Wednesday, then what is Wednesday and Tuesdays? I don't know. I never feel like it's Tuesday. What day is today? Is it Wednesday? Maybe. Especially I feel when like it's Wednesday. Daylight savings? That was like a month ago. Are you still feeling it? Yeah. I'm unhappy. Here, I want that eggplant pizza. Where is it? Oh, I had it. We had it. Uh, <laughs> you, did you get water? Did you drink water? I drank some soda. Soda is not water. What did I do? Oh, I left it downstairs. Oh, uh, is in the bathroom? No, it's in the on the table. Go get it. I'll get it. You gonna get it? You got something to say? No. Oh, I'm gonna. I have something to say. You're gonna get it. I'm gonna say the stuff. Uh, yep. It's Tuesday, and it's the realest day of the week. That's what I think on Tuesdays. I made it all the way here. Uh, yesterday, I was here on the program on um, Monday in the evening around 6 o'clock, 6 to 7. And uh, me and Freddie were going to go to this movie from a friend, old friend Lisa's movie, uh, but Lisa told me here on the program, I got proof of it, that it was at uh, 8 o'clock. Lisa said it was going to be 8 o'clock, so we're like, okay, we'll do the program at 6 o'clock or 6.30 or whatever, so that way we can go and see the movie here at, at a... We'll go see the movie at seven or eight o'clock. So we thought the movie started at eight o'clock. So I, I had this whole plan. I planned my whole day around it. I'm like, I'm gonna do the program at six ish, and then I'm gonna go to the movie at eight ish. So we do the program. When we get done with the program, we we'll go over there to the theater, and it's all locked. I'm like, Lisa, what's going on? Um. I looked at the schedule, and the movie had started at 7 o'clock. So, what movie? This is it called The Automat. Um, I was going to go to it last night. It was my friend's movie. But, huh? Your friend made the movie? Yeah. yeah. Wow. But, she told me the wrong time. So I didn't see it. Hmm. I got thanked in the credits apparently too. And then there's some phone tag miscommunication, so I didn't go. But I did drop the book off in the thing, and maybe you got it or not. Either that. I guess it's fine. I, we, I put I put the the book just like in a um, bin. Mm -hmm. So either she got the book or like anybody, and that's fine too. How big was the budget for the movie? I don't know, but Mel Brooks is in the movie. What? I'm not sure what to pay him. It's a documentary, though. 
I don't know if you made a documentary of Mel Brooks. No, the documentary is about automat. It's about old food things that in New York that everybody went to. That were maybe racist, <laughs> but um, uh, she went there and did the documentary. She interviewed Mel Brooks, put him on the poster. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, I didn't make it because uh, was the timing was weird. So then I was like, uh oh, that was my day. But then, the, so I just went back to the home to my residence at Grandma's house over there. Mm -hmm. It's done at about you know, eight o'clock, nine o'clock a.m. I have been uh, I've been going to bed early. I gotta wake up on Friday. I have to be somewhere at eight a.m. So I've been training myself to wake up early by going to bed early. But I'm still like allowing myself to sleep in as much as I want, but I'm going to bed early. Yeah. You have to be at work at eight? Yeah. Wow, that's really early. <coughs> so I've been waking up at uh um I get early. early. I've been waking up early. I'm going to try to go to bed early again today. Mm -hmm. But I'm not trying to wake up early. I'm just trying to go to bed early. But then you just pretty much have to wake up early because you can't just keep sleeping. Your body doesn't want to. So I woke up at like 9 a.m. today, like naturally. Um, and, um, it was weird. And I got to find stuff to do, you know, in the morning at the house. But now, now when I wake up at, at this time, Usually I've been I've been waking up at like two or three p.m. Mm -hmm. When you wake up at two two or three p.m., then um, it's uh, the morning time right now. Yeah. yeah. Well, then yeah. Then you then then you're only awake. So when it's like three or four, then you've only been awake for an hour. I've already been I've already been awake for like six hours. But if I went to sleep at three, I woke up at three. It'd be like nine p.m. Yeah. Yeah, I think about that too. So you can uh, start your day at different times. It's like extreme daylight savings. Is my mic sound like this, or is it gonna sound like all fuzzy the whole time? Oh, uh, maybe. It's fucked up. It's a little bit far from your face. No. You can be fuzzy. Then you can't hear me, huh? You can be fuzzy. It's fine. I'm on the phone. I woke up. I don't really know though. I scanned my books with drawing books and scanning them. Doing something. It's like, what do people do in the morning? I don't know. But you scanning your book? Yeah. yeah. The um, drawing books. I got a scanner. Wow. What do I do at night? What do you do in the morning? What do I do at all, anytime, anywhere? Yeah. I'm, I'm, just watching, I'm just watching TV in the morning, but now I'm going to be at work in the morning and then, then what? Um. Yeah, yeah, that's why I'm in the fish and wildlife, working with computers. Yeah. Wow. Pretty soon. I, um, I look around and then I went to one time places. I wanted to go to uh, Far East, but the schedule was weird. I'm, I'm awake at a weird time, so I don't know how anything works. I almost went to Thai truck, which I think would have been better than pizza. Uh, Pizza's good, that's good. Is it only eggplant? I think there's basil and maybe parmesan and it's a pomodoro sauce. Wow. Special kind of sauce, not regular sauce. I like eggplant. Usually they have eggplant on Thursdays. That's some good pizza. Yeah, maybe we should have an eggplant at the store. I like eggplants. We cooked them not too long ago. Four dollars though. Yeah. We got a um Arter, we got an artichoke though, and Winko. Yep. Artichoke pizza. Mmm. Whoa! I got spinach dip too. Maybe we should put that, cook the artichoke, eat the spinach dip instead of just straight mayo. But I think spinach dip is mostly mayo anyway. Spinach dip and artichoke. I think mayonnaise. Yeah, it's just different. I'd rather just eat it with mayonnaise. Just with mayonnaise, but I think it's spinach. A, it's dip. a mayonnaise spoon. 
Isn't spinach dip like basically mayo anyway? Yes. Probably, it's I don't a, know. When you want to eat, dip dip your crackers in mayo, but you don't want to admit it to it, so then you're eating spinach dip instead. And I'm going to just eat some of this dip. I guess I got spinach in it. You put spinach in your mayo, then it's healthy. Yeah. Um, you ever uh, slapped a stranger? Um, yeah, one time this guy was talking shit about Jada. <laughs> so I said, get Jada's name out your fucking mouth. <laughs> As I went. Yeah, full, full open hand slap. This didn't punch him or something, but. Yeah. That's, uh, it, that's, I don't know if that's ever happened. I No, that, something like that has never ever happened. You expected the jokes. Yeah. You get made fun of a little bit. I, I don't know, I, I think he lost his mind, forgot how to be a person. You ever been slapped? Mm, <laughs> no, <laughs> but he needs to check himself. He wrecked himself. Will Smith riggedy wrecked himself just <laughs> then. Well, it's too late to check yourself. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You're supposed to check yourself before you wreck yourself. Yeah, but he did not. Mm, he, wreck he, he wrecked himself on yeah. live TV. Yeah. Now he can't go back. What's he going to do? I'm going to try to get that, that Tabasco sauce to the house. I've been thinking about it. It's been sitting in front of me for a long time. Green. I'm going to take this home. Very bad. That was good. Uh, his son posted on Twitter, that's how we do it. <laughs> when? Like immediately? Uh, yeah. Like in response, like hours or minutes after. Uh-oh. So he he thinks that you can just go around and fucking slap people. Bad influence yeah. on your son, Will. Yeah. And, and uh... The guy who he was playing, Will Smith, who Will Smith was playing in real life, is still alive. And he's like, Will Smith said in the speech, he said, uh, the Williams guy is all about family. You gotta protect your family. Mm. And then the actual guy was like, I don't agree with Will Smith and what his actions. Yeah. <laughs> Lots of people. He played him in, yeah. But then, did you watch any of those movies? No. Yeah. What about this dog movie? Power of the Dog. That's on Netflix. I tried to watch it, and I think I fell asleep. Lost interest. It's on Netflix already? It was, it's a Netflix original. It is? And is this the one that won? It won the... Oh, it did? Did it? I don't know what won Best Picture, but Will Smith won Best Actor. Netflix originals are in the Oscars? Yeah. What? Power of the Dog. Isn't that like straight to video? What is the difference anymore, I guess, in the Yeah, in straight the to streaming, I guess. Maybe yeah, I gotta get over to submit this one. Yeah. Sam yeah. Elliott was in it, and uh, I was listening to the WTF podcast, and Sam Elliott was on there, he was talking shit about that movie. And then in the headlines the next day, it was like, Sam Elliott doesn't like Power of the Dog. He's in the movie? Yeah. And you didn't like it? Yeah, I didn't like it. That's the second time I saw a headline that was just based off an interview from a WTF. Someone, someone is like basing their career off of listening to Mark Marin and then just making an interview. Lots of people are. Right. <laughs> um, but if those Netflix movies can get right on to the Oscars, and I think this should too, right here. This is going to be uh, the original screenplay. Best original screenplay. I'm gonna submit it. For uh, you're gonna make it? I'm doing. We're making it right now. Okay. This video right here. Best original screenplay. Yes. And up for screenplay. YDHWM episode four one one zero. And then they're gonna give it to me, and I'm gonna win, and then I'm gonna slap somebody. I'm gonna slap the host. Um. You think? You think you would have slapped a white guy? I don't know. It seems, it seems like very cal uh, I was going to say calculated, but I don't think that it could be the case. Because he was sitting, Will Smith was sitting next to that uh, African, like person that's not even African American, I think maybe. 
Yeah, I right. think maybe if he had slapped a white person, then there would be uh, the outcome would be a lot different. Yeah. 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 Will Smith is is the whitest black guy though, maybe. Yep. He's like the uh, OJ of his time. And everyone was cheering for him now. Now he's OJ. Because he kills someone. Well, he slapped Chris Rock. I guess everybody knows about it now. But I'm just saying he's like the white white guy. OJ was the whitest black guy back then. You know? Yeah. Uh, yeah, getting sloppy though. Hey, don't slap anybody. Don't slap anybody. Yeah. I guess you could touch. I, I guess everybody's at the Oscars. With, they don't need masks or anything anymore. Well, you shouldn't, uh, that kind of thing should not be allowed because there should be rules against interrupting a live broadcast of any kind, I believe. Legal rules? Yeah, or, or I mean, rules. yeah. Or I'm saying, like, at SN SNL, for example, if you say fuck, you're canceled from the show forever. And oh, it's like yeah? a huge deal if you just say, if you just do the wrong thing. Don't do the wrong thing. These are, these are like organized live events. Do the right thing. Don't, don't, if you fuck up, if you throw off a scripted live event, people get upset. You can't really go back from that. It's not about even him slapping Chris Rock. It's just the fact that he fucking fucked up the whole thing. Don't You're slap. To do that. <laughs> yeah. It's like... Or, I don't know, other people go on stage and they're like, oh, I don't agree with this winner, this person should have won and all that. I guess people have done that. And even that's fucked up. He went up and he slapped Chris Rock. What if Chris Rock, like, broke down and started, like, crying or something? <laughs> took it pretty well. Yeah. I guess I didn't watch the rest of it at all. All I watched was the slapping moments after. Uh, I heard Quest Love won an Oscar. For what? Probably like best song or something. Best song. I'm not sure. Um. Did he play the drums on the song? I don't know what he won for. And uh. Our, now is this another thing for people to agree or disagree on? Why, why has everything got to be so binary? Yes or no? Yeah, I'm kind of for it. Will, I'm Will kind Smith of for slapping or? Chris Rock. I'm kind of in the middle. <laughs> I like, think I might be in the middle. Hey, you think you should have slapped him? Hey, <laughs> yeah, kind of. Sure, I guess I mean, in this case it is binary. I say no. Maybe they should be slapping that. Like, I, w I would actually rather fit, see... Like if the, if the Oscars, if they were like, if it was more violent. If it was in the rules, like hockey, you can fight because it's in the rules. Yeah, if if the Oscars, if people could fight each other, I would be yeah. more. I'm saying, yeah, if it was in the rules, that'd be fine. Be like, what? If some foreigners watching the Oscars and they start fighting, they're like, what the hell's going on? They're like, Wait, it happens. It's Oscars. Could they, yeah. they, I mean, maybe it is. Maybe this will be a turning point. Could be. Hopefully, I mean, Will Smith is going to be the first. Among many, and you yeah. can start slapping it. At live events, you get dissed, yeah. slap, fight, physical fight. Yep. He's setting the president. Yeah. Hey, man. Hey. 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 Morgan. Good morning. And, um. <laughs> yeah, I was telling you about that movie I was watching. The Scary of 61st. It's really not that good. You want some pills? I think they look like kind of cutesy and endearing. But then when I watched it with like my brother, like a fresh set of like eyeballs and ears, he's like, this is not good. And I had to, yeah, realize. He's kind of right. Um, so I don't recommend that movie. Oh. Uh, it's kind of a goofy take on the Jeffrey Epstein stuff. And like you said on the uh, one episode, you're like, what? That's about the trafficking guy? That's a little weird to make a comedy about that. And I was like, you know what? You gotta really do it right if you're gonna do that. 
They're not really doing it too right. Jeff Jefferson comedy, huh? You know what we're talking about? Who's that? Baby, oh, yeah. Yeah. Is he alive? Is this just amateurish and so bad? I have to do the Because they realize it is too and they're just leaning into it. Or is it just bad? Does that make any sense? Probably not. It's uh, 8 in the morning. Y'all thought I was on house right. arrest. Oh no, for how long? Um, so like a month. Tired. Um. I don't know. I don't want to do it another day, you know? I don't want to. What? I would rather not. Rather not what now? Who who's it in the what's now? I think it's stay in bed until it's absolutely necessary for me to do anything. That would be a little depressing too though maybe. How many vitamin K's do I have left? Two, three, four, five, six, seven. I still got a week's a week's worth. I don't know what it does. Bone health. I just heard that you're supposed to take it with D. If you're taking D, you're supposed to take K. And they go together somehow. Hi. Hi. Y E H W M. Yes. And only that. It's just. Y-D-H-W-M That's right, that's the acronym. Um... I'm gonna say... Um... Yeah, I heard about the rebranding. The rebranding, you told me that before. Yeah. Let's go, Lisa. Calling in, doing commercials for her movie. Looks pretty fancy. It's a real deal. <laughs> we didn't it's make not it. Really a movie. It's a documentary. But it's still exciting. We didn't make it to the movie. Um, it's even Lisa playing every year. I wonder who's got my book though. This side of the country. I'm a little confused. What's it about? Like a restaurant? There's got like actors in it talking about it? Yeah, it doesn't really make a lot of sense. Mel Brooks is like an actor slash director. How old is Mel Brooks? He's doing that. got to be in his 90s. Oh, definitely. What's going on? I think, is he 100 yet? What is it? Um, seems like people like it though. Uh, just good, I guess. You going there tomorrow, right? I would have gone, but I didn't make it. Oh, yeah, how about that? <laughs> how about that? This is kind of an older message. Uh, He's talking to you. Huh? He's responding to you. Yep. There's a war. Yeah, there's a war. In Ukraine. Yeah, oh yeah, everybody's talking about. You think that uh, the Will Smith thing slap was a distraction? Yeah. Is Russia gonna go to war with NATO? I keep hearing. That would be scary. Up and down, like one day they're like, Russia's quitting, yeah. and then the next day they're like, Russia's doubling down. So what's even real? Is Russia even real? So it's a hologram. Anything that's outside of town is a hologram. Yeah. You haven't left town in years, huh? Yeah. 
Not really. I, I haven't left. I think maybe I've been to Tumwater. I don't know if I've even been to Tumwater. So what's the southernest place I've been? Like here, west side. Is, I think west side is souther than downtown, right? <coughs> uh, I guess, yeah. I might have gone to Tumwater. <coughs> I haven't been to like Centralia. I've been to Tumwater. Or maybe, well, well, why would I go to Tumwater? There's nothing in Tumwater. I don't think I've been to. I've been to the, uh, have I been to Tumwater Falls? But um, I haven't, definitely haven't been anywhere further than Tumwater, so I haven't left like, I went to Win uh, Daiso one time in Tequila, so I haven't left like Tequila to um, turn water in years. Hi, so I have a very important question about the Word of God. I would really like to know some stuff. Like, oh, I've been struggling in life, and I really need some help from Jesus. And uh -huh. I was wondering if you guys can help me with that. I can help you with that. Please call me back. This is my number. Um, sorry about that. What are you sorry Thank for? You. you hear this? Yeah. We're gonna help this boy find uh, the the love of Christ. I think he's maybe messing with you. He is. That's you can don't don't mess around with the love of Christ. You know, uh, Christ died for your sins. You know. Yeah. Hey, have you found the gift of Christ? Yeah. Um, this guy's probably white. Christ, you know, Christianity is the white man's religion. And uh, anybody else, like, if you're, if you're white and a, a Christian, <laughs> and then you're, then you're buying into white supremacy, which makes sense to me. Like, why would you not be a white supremacist if you're white? Mm -hmm. uh, but if otherwise you're not, you're buying into white supremacy. Yeah, maybe do people do it because like the community does it. So if you're if you're not religious, you look weird or something. Yeah, but that's the commu I mean, it's the, I guess the white community. What's well, called? Yeah, that guy is not religious. They don't trust him. Well, that's what white people sound to me. They don't. They don't trust. They don't trust you anyway. So, what's the, yeah. what's the point? That's true. Is this the Jesus guy? Yep. Okay. I think it might be from Texas. G Jesus. I need to look for Jesus. I found him on the street. Here he is. Hello? Please leave your message for... Thomas. Thomas. Is that Christian name? Hey, Thomas. Need help finding Jesus? Because I can help you find him. I can help you with anything. Are you from Texas? Seems like if you're in Texas, that there would be a lot of people out there who can help you. I actually saw some guy on, at the store today. Uh, his hat just said, I love Jesus. Did you see that guy? No. He was like some old weird guy. He was a white guy though. Maybe he really likes to sin. Oh yeah, he's trying to like. He's like, he, he really likes that Jesus is there. Yeah. Um. That's how you find Jesus, Thomas. Yeah, go out and get <laughs> sin a go, lot. Yeah. And then Jesus will be there. Or go we'll find right some guy with a hat. Maybe I, like, you see that guy with a hat, and then you stop the, the guy with the hat, and you say, hey, I, I've, I've been living a, a life uh, in, of sin. Can you help me with that? He's like, oh, get the fuck away from me. <laughs> what are you doing here? <laughs> like, I think he might be doing that, but uh, we'll find out. Thomas, how'd you find us? I thought you were somebody else because of the area code, but I think that you're from Texas, if I recognize the area codes. I'm getting pretty good at recognizing area codes. Um, God bless you. Uh, Alu Akbar. All right. That was a message. That was Thomas's message. Alu Akbar. Alu Akbar. Let's call your fellow. People said praise Allah. It's Allah Akbar, right? Same thing? Um, I think it is. I don't know. I might, I'm not, maybe it's possible that I'm not supposed to be saying that. Is, it, is that the case? Does that mean that Akbar means praise? And it's like, oh, you know that guy? Remember that karate guy? Yeah, I mean, that, that would make sense.
Faith would be a good, because like his name is like Faith, I think his name is Faith or um, whatever. I think he was a Iranian. Yeah. He used to be right across the street. I don't know if he's still there. The Google subscriber you have called is not available. Please leave a message after the tone. Yo, fellas, it's the program. Hi, how are you? Are you at work? Probably at work, because otherwise you'd be a house arrest. Um, we didn't make it to the to the movie. You can find out about it today if you watch. So just look at the episode today. Hi. YDHWM. I'm leaving a message to get on TV. YDHWM. Mm. I'm eating a sandwich. What kind of sandwich? Yeah, it's weird. It's snowing a little bit outside. Snowing? Um. My brother's going to get a car. He's never had a car before. He's getting his first car. Yeah, don't drink and drive. That's cool. How about that, huh? That's something. And, uh, I mean, a sandwich. Salt and vinegar chips. Um, for a while in my life now, I've underestimated potato chips. Oh, uh -huh. I've unduly underestimated them. Was it how so? Very good. Yep. You don't think they're gonna be so good? I'm gonna take another bite of the sandwich here. Mmm. Mmm. Are you gonna see that movie? I was going to, but it Lisa? didn't work. It didn't work out. Is Lisa, who called in, at some point in like 2018? And wanted you to like watch her dog or something. Yeah. So she could go to Italy. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? I do. I think it might be her. Wow, this is a good potato chips. <laughs> this is a good potato chips. Mmm. Wow. Every chip can go. Mmm. No. Dr. K, Dr. Freddy, Dr. Bird. Yes. Dr. Yellow. I got a question for you. Uh, what's that? And the statement. So, this is the question. Do you know what a jitterbug is? Or jet? Commercial on TV, the smartphone, the little button on it. Oh, yeah, old people phone. Mm, we're on my phone, right? Yeah. Who knows who? Um, anyway, so my mom got some of them, and somehow or another, old people. This is the predicament. Um, she got herself like an $800 bill in the mail. What? <laughs> so she can't one of them do. Yeah. $800. That's all I got to say about that. <laughs> um, fuck the hell off. 800 fucking bucks. 
That's Jigsaw. crazy. Phone. Off of the TV there. Uh, watch out. You get that jitterbug, boy. They might jitter and bug you until you got jitterbug coming at your bridge. Jesus Christ. Eight hundred fucking dollars with a jitterbug. <laughs> Good deal. Too much jitterbug. That's a lot of jitterbug. Rock made a public statement. talking about him but he's not saying anything about it. Doesn't he have Twitter? No. He does have it? I don't know. <clears throat> but it's not popular. Not trending I guess. Not <laughs> trending. What about the guy who got, got slapped? Yeah. How, how is he? Is he hurt? Yeah. He seemed like he was okay. You think that Will Smith injured him? Maybe. That tape man over there, and now it's uh, Thursday. <laughs> well, that was yesterday. This is today. I'm uh, over here. On the next day, that was me. I put that tape on there, remember? And it's like it was now cold it's, that uh, day. Thursday, and we're still doing this. We're queuing up that yesterday's tape and getting that thing going. And we're still alive. I'm listening to some of those songs it's early in the morning. So, uh, okay, bye. Uh, maybe it's cold as early in the morning? That would make some sense to me. That was 2018. Remember 2018? Mm, yeah. Yeah, what were you doing? 
I don't know. Nothing, I guess. <laughs> Nothing? You don't know what you're doing in 2018? No, what are you doing? I was... There was a band on the day before. Were you at Grandma's already? I think I moved into Grandma's house. In 2018? Yeah. Like, early 2018? Uh, yep. Uh, probably like right about now. Hmm. Somewhere around now. Yep. <laughs> I'm calling Mark, and I'm gonna queue up the message in the future, and then maybe look at some of that too. Mark the guitar player. Mark the guitar player. Is it Tuesday? Wow, where does the time go? What a weird day. Sorry, you cannot leave a message for three, six, oh, no? four, five. I can't leave a message. Mark doesn't have a thing. I'm going to call John Webster. On a Tuesday. Yeah, I think Mr. Gintu is asleep. I mean, yeah, he's either asleep or working, so I got to know schedule and then figure it out. Hello, this is Kelsey. Hello, this is Kenny from TV show. Is John Webster available? Uh, okay. Well, can you tell him I said hi? Absolutely. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. bye. Alright, let's go record this message to the future. I guess I'm going to go turn on this light. It's getting a little dark. In here. Alright, put yeah, that down and stand high up. High production value. Put that down and stand up. Yep. yep. <laughs> high production value? Lights? Yep. Yeah, look at that. Wow. Hey, future. So that's the past. Hey, past or future. Can't talk to the past. Still there. You still around? You slapping the host? I'm going to slap you, future. Pow! Bye, future. All right, let's take a look at this, see what we've been doing recently. Past couple of weeks here. We'll look at two weeks of these. What, what number am I at in the book? 50? Am I at 50 yet? 40, 48. 48? Uh, so, yeah. Holy shit. Where is it? There. We're going to go to... Um, Two weeks ago, so 28 minus, minus 14. What's 29 minus 14? 1, 15. We're going to go to the 15th. What, what did you do on March 15th? Uh, nothing. <laughs> yeah. oh, let's see, I, did, I haven't done anything in years, so what's the day? What's the day? Sitting in a chair, I think, or maybe a sitting, or maybe you're walking. You walking? Maybe. I haven't been walking. My pants are getting tight again. Uh oh. My future. <coughs> Not good. Not good. It's us, the past. <clears throat> what did I say? We're gonna go to the 14th. Yeah, I had my pants got loose and then they came back. You think I'm, I'm like doing the thing where you like exercise and then don't? It's probably worse for you. Cause could be. You're building up your muscles and then going away, so then I'm just like building fat, I think, is what happens. One more, the 15th. Here's what I've been doing the last two weeks. Oh yeah, look at you were here on last, on Wednesday, the 16th. Wow. 15th was a Tuesday? Uh oh, did I go, wait, did I go too far? Hmm. 
Or these numbers are wrong, maybe. The future, it's us, the past. We talked to the other fellow, he, he's out of jail now. Tells us about it. We got out of jail two weeks ago. He got the hat, too, by the way. Yeah, yeah. so don't go to jail, he's out of jail, we hear all the details of jail. Yeah. We'll still here more, we got much better we can get to because of things. Get the hat. Bye, future. Bye. Bye, buy a hat. The past. Future, if you go to jail, try to keep an open mind, you know. You don't have to go off of people of your own skin color. Try to talk to other people. Maybe you'll be okay. Maybe you can spread messages of uh, peace and love and maybe, you know. Boy, boy, it's 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 peace and love in jail. Here, Andrew, stand up. You want to try to play your corn here? Yeah, that's a good yeah. thing. If I just stand up. Get on the... There's Andrew. There he is. Out there. Well, I'm trying to play your corn hole. Hi, future. Hey, Bert, what do you have to say? Um, just, um, yeah, uh, stay safe. Okay, bye. Future. future. Stay safe. Hey, future. It's us in the past. Look at Zayn's face. Hey, look at Zayn's face. Oh, yeah, sir. MGMT is the greatest band of all time, future. MGMT is the greatest band of all time, and the greatest band continuing uh, in the future. Yeah, a good release the greatest album of all time, Pitchfork. It's Thursday. Year. Bye, future. That's pretty good. Bye, Bye future. Man, make sure you're drinking lots of eggs. Mr. Ginsu said somebody was killed. We talked to Sam. We talked to some kid in Wisconsin. Brother was there drinking eggs. eggs. Parties. You back? Are you doing things yet? Yeah. I don't think we're. Is it, are we right. on the right number? Why is this 4199? What number are we on now? Hey, it's it's the two. past. I think this number is wrong. I love the future. That's not good. What do you have to say in the future? Uh, Terry? What, what do I have to say to the future? Yes. I suppose if I have anything to say to the future, it's that I hope it's open to all of us. Yeah. How's that, how's that, uh, armory art thing going on in the future? Talk about who's that and tell him. Bye, future. <clears throat> it's us, the past. Hello, future. Hello. It's me, Gene. Hey, Gene. Did Gene find a house? Yes. Who was getting shot? Were you, he was on gun control. Bye, future. Gun control. Mm -hmm. And have they changed? Okay. That's the past. Then this should be. Uh, no. No. Stick in the car. What do you have to say in the future, James and Heather? Pizza. <laughs> pizza. 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 Bye, future. Well, Heather went to Kentucky. It's just the past. Mark, let it go. What do you have to say in the future? Keep rocking. That's what you got to do. Keep rocking. You have the middle feet there. Rock and roll, yeah. All right, thanks, Mark. Oh, well, yeah, last I Tuesday, I talked to Mark. You too. I'm trying to talk hey, to Mark on right Tuesday. Bye-bye. Hey, we're listening to some messages. Uh, talking to Mark. Mark's got a count of medicine. Uh, I'm eating yeah, the pizza. Yeah. 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 All righty. You have a great day there, Kenny. You tell Freddie he's got to have a great day. Good too, day, so. Freddie. Bye, Mark. Bye, future. Bye. 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 Have a great day. The past. Hi, future. Hi. Mr. Gibbs is like a robot. We're talking to Judd and Larry Beth about uh, bananas and philosophy. They caught a well-known local graffiti artist. And maybe daylight savings time has gone forever. Bye, future. No, it's, it's here to is stay. It? Is it? It's here forever. Did they decide that? Pass. I don't know. It's in. Know, what did you, you, you say? You're trying to tell the message of the future. Keep saying what you're saying. What are you saying, brother? Mr. Gitcher doesn't know what his future's going to be. And he's pissed off. We watched a bit of a ghost bitch tape today. I predict that in the future, Kenny will fix his own roof. <laughs> did I fix my own roof? He was giving us roof advice. Yep, and he will fix it for five or six hundred dollars. He got fixed the roof. Versus a couple thousand to five thousand dollars for somebody else to do it. Ghost bitch! Bye, future. Should we hire Mr. Ginsu to fix the roof? 
What? Should we hire Mr. Ginsu to fix the roof? Is he a roofer? Put on a fucking mask. Amateur roofer. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Did you uh, get the virus from Costco? I think we should get the neighbor to do it. Did you eat too much? Did you get the virus from Costco? Did you make a Reuben yet? Yeah. I think we would have known by now. Did you, you have one more? I did. My future. Yeah. How do you feel? Full of viruses. Yeah. Sick? <laughs> sure. Uh, it's us. Uh, the past. Yeah. Saturday. The other day we talked to Lisa in California. We were on tours. And uh, Kim was gone. And uh, what? Is the story all about? You sir. Hi, future. Are you still doing things? We're starting to do more things. I woke up early. Are you doing it? Did you did you make it? Or did you sleep in and uh, get fired? Bye, future. <laughs> I want to see if I'm gonna make it. I've been waking up early. I woke up at nine today. Success in the past. I'm gonna go to right. 10 p.m. tonight. Yeah, I'll try to don't buy your jeans off the internet. That the quality is lesser. Patsy's is eating dog food. Heather's in Kentucky. Yeah. How's all on that? Uh, uh, good answer with Lisa. Yellowfellow's on Kentucky. the treadmill. Um. Uh, so that's the past. Hey, past or future. Hey, that's today. Quit talking You're past. There. You still around? You slapping the host? I'm gonna slap you, future. Bye, future. Bye. That was that. Wow. Who it's slapped the future? Yeah, it's you. That's a controversial. What's the future going to say about that? Oh. Don't treat the future like that. Don't slap anybody the future like the future. Uh, you see anything on the streets? I'm trying to think about it on the way over here. Mm. I no. Nope. Uh-oh. Freddie didn't drink all his beer. Uh-oh. I think it's there's some water there. Yeah. Um, well, we should call him. I think he's working. I'm gonna tell him that the, the, the production end is kind of falling a little bit. Uh oh. I wonder if Lisa got the book. Is it? Are you, are you saying that? Hi. You three well, just tell him. I can't come to the phone right now, but if you leave me a nice message, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks, Thanks a lot. Oh yeah, Freddie's phone is weird. Freddie, your phone is weird. It went straight to voicemail. Is, your, is it working yet? Are you able to get phone calls? Um, the production then, I think, is is on the edge. You should go look at the 2 a.m.s, I believe. Uh, yeah, who's on there? OK, all right, thanks, Freddie. Are you still on TCTV? Yeah, well, we're on at 1130, but the 2 a.m.s is, is if you following a little bit. The wayside. Mm -mm. Um. Uh oh. Uh oh. Fucking what the <laughs> fuck over? YouTube bullshit is bullshit. Huh? What the fuck? I'm talking. They put on captions on there that really aren't what they fucking say they are. Uh huh. And then they turn out to be something else, which is exactly what I said. They aren't what they say they are. Yeah. yeah. And then a lot of them are what they say they are, but then there's a few they go, oh, give it, give it, give it, if I can. What are they then? And then they, if I can go, ah, oh, this is something else. We were just talking about something else. Hey, fuck you. Fucking cunt. Fucking. But it don't take me long, and I just get the fuck out of there, motherfucker. <laughs> And then I don't go there ever again. Uh huh. Fucking stupid fuck. Who the fuck do they think they are? It's much better if you just say what it is and then fucking people will go, oh, that's what it is. And then you won't be a dirty fucking low down liar like Putin. Right? The people on YouTube are similar to Pooty Pooch. Because they did a bunch of fucking liars. Yeah. Some of them ain't. The majority of them are, though. I swear to God, a lot of them are just fucking bullshit. Yeah. yeah. Mr. Ginsu watching YouTube? Oh, yep. Makes me want to quit even watching YouTube bullshit. Are you videos. watching the program? You know, we're on YouTube, Mr. Ginsu. You can watch it. 
Yeah, what's he doing? Uh, well, turns out it's about time for me to get back to work. So I don't know here. when. God damn. He's a good type of call, but I don't want to wake him up. I don't know what to tell you about my work today, but. You work some night? It keeps changing. I'm certainly putting on some miles to be in. <laughs> whatever I am. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Oh, fuck. Anyway, yep, I get up at midnight, and then I stay up till about 5 o'clock in the morning, 6 o'clock in the morning. That's what I do. Huh? That's what I do. That's my new schedule for now. Yeah, but he, he works longer. No, fuck off. Here's fuck a Japanese hell. country guy. Motherfucker. Right there. I'll talk to you later. Wow. Country music, my way. This motherfucker got caught doing 208 miles an hour. What the fuck, over? How in the hell did you get caught? Are you just fucking stupid or something? Fuck you. Um, you don't let them catch you. Uh, what the fuck? I just, I just, that's just mind-numbingly fucking. If you try to go 208 plus, <laughs> how in the fuck could you possibly let a motherfucking cover catch your ass? How in the fuck? That's probably impossible. I don't even know what the fuck about that shit. Just for, uh, they must have got his license number somewhere along the way or something. Don't forget it. Okay. No, I think it's somewhere along the way. You got cargo pants. Just ran out of gas. Cargo pants. Fucking, uh, I just don't understand. (laughs) I mean, I just don't understand. Um, hey. I'm, I'm really mostly speechless about this motherfucker. Uh huh, yeah? yeah. To, uh, I don't know what to say about him. Don't know me, just stop. You gotta be fucking me. Uh, not a fucking chance in my book. <laughs> I'm trying to do it a fucking chance in hell. Uh, you're gonna have to catch me, besides the fact that I'm a motherfucking magician. Uh, you, yeah, you ain't catching my, my card does that motherfucker pass. Holy shit. Uh-huh. Um, there ain't no way in hell. I mean, no fucking way in hell. But he got, he went to drop his car, drop his keys, and then they went. Oh, no, those are keys. All right, well, we're getting down to only about three minutes left today. Three minutes. Three minutes. What are we going to do for three minutes? Wow. What should we do? Um, what did you see in the street? <laughs> If you could do, if you could do anything at all, what would we do? Um, and I just see that guy, the the, the guy that said I love Jesus, with his hat today at the store. Yeah. He was in a cart too. He couldn't walk. If you uh, gave that those kind of shirts to like the Pope or something like that, or what did he say? Give the Pope a shirt that said I love Jesus. Yeah. He would probably say thank you. Is he a, it's not like a, not offensive or something like that, but I think that people who wear that kind of shit are crazy. God bless you, maybe he would say. God bless you, yeah. I think if I, you, you don't need to be telling other people about it. It's, it seems like it's like, not the wrong message, but it seems like it's like, a little, uh, even blasphemous or something. Should be private, more private like that, yeah. Yeah. Um, I wanted to ask that guy and say, hey, how do you feel? about Jesus. He said, I love him. I love him. Uh, he was going through Winko. You know what? At, at the, um, 
Like, you know, we don't wear, have to wear masks in stores anymore. But today at Winco, I saw a lady with an oxygen in her nose. Yeah. And I was like, maybe you should be looking out still. <laughs> she wear a mask. Like, or maybe she shouldn't be out. I guess they got to live their lives. What else are they going to do? But she was like carting around a little tank of oxygen. Like, if you need that, you were going to die. Uh, but maybe she's been, maybe it was her first time coming out. But I doubt it. Uh, you ever got the oxygen? You ever seen anybody with oxygen? No. You ever tried oxygen bar? No. Have you? No. Where do they even have that? In Seattle? Uh, probably. Maybe Tacoma got to go to the big city. Yeah. Get some oxygen. You need more oxygen. I wonder if it, it's good. Uh, made it. Makes you feel healthier. More awake. Uh, here it is. Thanks, Andrew. Thanks, yellow fellow. Thanks, Mr. Ginsu. Uh, thanks, ghost bitch. It's Tuesday. On TV, John 23, number 3 and 2 a.m. Check it out. Yeah, what is your game on YouTube? 360 336 Call me a message. You're on TV. Yeah. Check it out. Still Rising is a good song. Thank you. GCTV. The baby. Dirty Fat. Book of Books. Post-Star Videos. Talk.com. Rebecca, Mountain Board, Northwest, Thurston County, Washington State, USA. Thank you. And viewers, to you who are watching, thank you. Hey, John, where are you? Call me. He's asleep today. Hell yeah, dog. Bye.